as provided to the home. We are the only rotating shelter program to survive COVID. That speaks volumes about the Down River Church support. Our mission is to link the homeless men and women in the Outland County area with available services and resources in a daytime setting that will secure appropriate health services, more stable housing, and job skill development that will facilitate employment. Wayne Metro brings its overnight participants to our day center for our services by transporting their participants every day, seven days a week, mm -hmm. because they are not equipped to provide a daytime services. We transfer those participants that are now also guests to the necessary appointments such as mental health, teen wellness, and the guidance center, doctors, sports, housing, etc. A letter from Lewis Pitcher to Mayor Woolley from the Freedom of Information Act. We Mr. Hartman, if you could please read it. A letter Mayor from Lewis Pitcher to Mayor Woolley from, from the Freedom of Information Act request lays out a plan to, met, to close our building for 90 days and reopen under the a new management. Why? Closing for 90 days at this time of year will be during the hottest months of the summer. There will be no place for the homeless to get away from the heat after sweltering summer. A lot of the guests are elderly with many health issues and the homeless will still be in the area with no resources. Thank you, Mrs. Rooker. Um, I just have a question because I know this council hasn't um, voted on any rules as to how this hearing would be held, but it was my understanding that being that this was Christ's appeal that they would not be limited in their speaking. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Open Amen. meeting. That's not the case. Thank you. Next, I'd like to ask uh, Judy Murray, who is against revocation. Uh, I'm sorry, does not wish to speak. Karen Butler is against revocation and wishes to speak. Good evening to all of you, to Mayor and to all of the city council members. I did not stand and I did not ask to speak to indict or to attack anyone or anyone's opinion. I'm standing tonight as to the goodness of Christ's name. My name is Karen Joyce Butler. I work for one of the prominent banks in the city, in the area. I lost my job and that loss of a job started a domino effect. 2009, I stand before you as a former client of Christ Net. I am Pastor Karen Joyce Butler, Pastor of Wings of Deliverance Transforming Ministry. I have not only been a client, but I've also served as a board member. And I stand tonight with my presence as a witness to you and to some of those that have spoken that the, the face of homelessness has changed. And some of us, even maybe some of you, could be a check away from being homeless. Amen. But I when, when people do that, you're cutting into the speaker's time. Yes. Right? You're being rude to the person that's speaking. Yes. Please continue. We'll start. But I want to say to you to tonight, I am also a resident of Taylor. A happy, excited resident almost seven years of Taylor. I will not say which senior building that I live in. I am 73 years old. I was a client of Christnet at the age of 59. And before I take my seat, I want to say thank God for the net. 
because I came here in 99. I've been in the church a good portion of my life. God allowed me to go through homelessness for one month. And I want to share to those people that don't <coughs> understand, everybody that's homeless is not dirty, is not filthy, is not uneducated, is not a criminal. So here I am. And I have survived because of the net. Revocation does not wish to speak. Dean Darren. Uh, I would like to speak. I just didn't see a spot to mark on there. I'm sorry? I would like to speak, actually. I just didn't see a spot. Uh, Mr. Zabin? Dean Darren. Oh, please come forward. Revocation, Barbara Johnson. Against revocation, Bradley Johnson. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. Could I speak? You could. Sorry, that's why I'm calling them out because you didn't Great. check that you wanted to speak. But if as we've been going through this, right? So you're Bradley. Yes, I am. All right. I've been Bradley all my life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
anybody mention that. I know they probably are, but I haven't heard anybody mention it. That could be a, a partial solution to that problem. And it would be nice if Taylor would work with Christ that and, and take control of that situation. You know, to have an organization, an organization like that on a busy thoroughfare like Eureka seems to be, to me, an ideal location. Mm -hmm. Not so much by a school, not so much by a senior citizen place, but it, it's not in the suburbs, not in the middle of your house. It's in, on a busy thoroughfare. <laughs> it's in the middle of the suburbs. And it, it just, it's I don't think anybody's right ever mentioned that. And I, mm -hmm. I don't see mm -hmm. the city of Taylor help with the problem, not just cut them off. Because when cut it off, it's just too severe. And there's too much to be lost when so much has been gained. 